Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on November 21st, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome, everybody, to another video. Long awaited. It's been a week now. But I had to take some time off, and we're starting out here looking at our sun. The last 48 hours, large plasma filament ripping out the bottom there. We also have a departing earth facing coronal hole and as well that sunspot region it was semi-active the last few days lots of wonky stuff happening around the world lots of volcanoes popping off and large earthquakes solar wind is still calm but our sun is still very quiet as well This is solar cycle 25. It should be in the solar maximum now. But we are possibly on a prolonged solar minimum. Looking at our real time solar data here, solar winds steady just over 300 kilometers per second. We had quite a spike in the density just now as that large 6.3 earthquake struck Russia. And over the last 24 hours, we had another large earthquake struck Mexico. Let's look here at the last 12 hours for earthquakes from around the world. Things are really starting to pick up this week. So 6.3 at a 486 kilometer depth, very deep earthquake in Russia. And that's just west of Kamchatka, the Sea of Osk. Active volcanoes on the Kamchatka Island. As well, 6.3 ringing off in Mexico last night. No, not Dominican Republic. No, I said not Dominican Republic. Okay, 5.4 in Mexico. Porto, Madero. And that was after 6.3 struck late last night and then today large 6.3 in Russia very deep as well 4.1 earthquake here in Japan that is deep as well 362 kilometer depth so things have really picked up the last couple days this is the last 48 hours for earthquakes from around the world Two days ago, we reported 5.8 here in Argentina. Indonesia rocking a 5.0 and a 4.9, 4.8. And as well, a rare 5.0 earthquake in Nepal. So stay aware and prepared, folks. Some deep earthquakes that have happened in the last 24 hours, we'll be expecting larger shallower earthquakes to follow. Watching the quiet zone, North America. But you can see over the last seven days, seismicity has really increased in the past two. It's a semi-quiet seven day period for earthquakes as well especially North American plate. Small minor earthquakes, California, and north to the border with Montana and Canada. So have a plan, folks. Be ready for a large earthquake, as well for extreme weather events from around the world, because I'm still seeing the events unfolding and it's now all over the mainstream media. And there's also alternative media websites that are just all over this right now. Let's get to weather here. Looking over satellite imagery over North America. And this will be the last 12 hours. You can see large lows spinning. running straight across the northern jet stream. But early cold temperatures 
are really going to ramp things up when it comes to nor'easters and the storms that affect the Atlantic provinces. We are still early in winter and they're receiving a mixed bag of precipitation already. Blizzard-like conditions straight from Newfoundland to Quebec. Watching this large Pacific low come in to California and will be pushing through Nevada and up into Colorado in the next 12 hours. So watch for drastic weather changes in Colorado. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Look at the size of this low pressure system over the Aleutian Islands. So this is the Pacific Ocean we're looking at. And still I'm watching these large low pressure systems get bigger and stronger. Deeper, lower level troughs. Look at the winds with this low pressure system as well. So watch for an extreme weather event straight from Alaska into Northern BC. Watching the cold temperatures come with these large low pressure systems coming from the north. The Yukon, northern Manitoba already receiving minus 20, minus 30 temperatures. And these cold temperatures in Russia, minus 40. This is without the wind chill. These temperatures will be swinging around the northern hemisphere. So watch later in the week for things to really get cold. Again, in Alberta, the warm before the storm, we had temperatures of 8 degrees and now it's dropped and we're sitting at minus 10 with a wind chill of minus 14. Overlooking the West Pacific, watching for a large rain event to affect Taiwan and Japan. Heavy snow through the Nepal region, Mongolia, higher elevations very cold. Africa, watching for torrential downpours due to daily evaporation. There's a low pressure system spinning in the center of the continent right now, and it's not going anywhere. And you can see the tons of moisture being pulled in from the Indian Ocean. So the coming days, watch for extreme weather events across Eastern Africa and South Africa as these heavy rains, torrential downpours will continue for the next couple days. Well, it shows here the next five days. Overlooking Europe, large low pressure system coming in through Ireland and France, about to crash into that cold high pressure ridge Watch for a Mediterranean low to develop, bringing severe weather towards Italy and Greece later in the week. South America, daily evaporation, but heavy amounts in the, few, in the coming days through Colombia and Panama. And then overlooking North America, the next five days, going to be very interesting. Mixed bag of precipitation heading straight across our Great Lakes and into Ontario. So watch for extreme weather conditions as there will be freezing rain, heavy winds associated with these storms and the low pressure uh, Pacific low that's coming in through Nevada. Watch for a pretty snowy event throughout Colorado, Montana. So five day forecast throughout North America, very cold and chilly and as well, wintry and it's not winter yet, <laughs> pretty much. I wanna thank everybody for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. God bless humanity. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.